So I've been a part of uh, Bangalore Lit Fest uh, from the time it began, and I, I feel quite fortunate that I'm in the city, and it makes it easier for me to, you know, I make sure that I actually block these two days off completely. You know, so no matter what location it's moved to, I've made sure that I'm there and doing nothing else except sitting in on sessions. And I've been also very fortunate to be part of it as as uh, a speaker at uh, I think every fest every uh, year that the festival has happened so far. I think it's really great because I've been a part of quite a few festivals uh, by now, and I really find that this is this is really a lovely festival in terms of the quality of speakers it's got. Um, I find that even the topics that they come up with, you know, it's not it's not just like putting together something hastily. They're very well thought out. They actually let give you that opportunity to go back and think a little bit more. It's not like you're just sitting there. You know, most of the time you go and you find that people are sitting there and often just plugging their books. But, or at least finding a way to work the topic around, you know, to plug their books. But I find that uh, this festival has always given me something, uh, you know, on a panel discussion, something that makes me want to think before I come, think through, and it's always something quite interesting. For instance, today, today we talked about uh, a little girl in a big world, you know, and it's very interesting. So even if you're going to talk about something that you've written, it's very interesting to be able to connect it and bring it, you know, into that. Um, subject and uh, I think the greatest thing has been the fact that the festival is this year at a far more accessible location um, because while I would make sure that I go wherever it is I think for the average reader you know it's become a lot more accessible and I see a, a huge turnout this year that's wonderful. <laughs>